it's a viscous flow or a laminar flow the equation for this one are entirely based on Reynolds number and applicable for Reynolds number less than 2300 the governing equation in case of circular pipe is tau is equal to minus dp by dx called as pressure gradient multiplied by r radius divided by 2 to find out the wall shear stress you can substitute small r equal to capital r so we have tau wall equals to minus dp by dx into capital r by 2 where capital r is the radius the pressure will change only along the x direction there is no change in the pressure along the radial direction so we have dp by dr equal to 0 so let's consider here a pipe section and we are plotting here one axis equal to x other axis is radius let's consider here two section so on this section anywhere any value of r your dp by dr is same it means that dp by dr is a constant value and the pressure will not change along the radius but the pressure does changes along the x-axis so this pressure is p1 now naturally this pressure p2 will be less than p1 and the losses between these two is given by head loss due to friction and for this case your distribution will be parabolic distribution that is this type of distribution and the velocity at any radius is given as 1 by 4 mu minus dp by dx into capital R square minus small r square now capital R is total radius so just remember two equation one is tau equation and one is u equation in the equation of u if you put small r equal to 0 then you always get the maximum velocity u max usually 1 by 4 mu minus dp by dx into r square and for a circular section the ratio between the average velocity and the maximum velocity is always 1 by 2 so using this equation you can develop the equation for u bar which will be 1 by 8 mu minus dp by dx into r square the head loss due to friction hf is basically dp by rho g rather minus dp by rho g is 32 mu u bar l upon rho g d square and is also given as fl v square upon twice gd here v is average velocity using this we can have a friction factor for circular pipe is always fixed is given by 64 divided by re all these equations are applicable for circular section consider here two parallel plates and they are separated by distance equals to t and we have a viscous fluid here in between the two plates so for in this case for parallel plates we have governing equation is given as tau equals to minus dp by dx t by 2 minus y where y is the distance measured from the lower plate and if we put y equal to 0 then we are on the fixed plate and we have maximum shear stress that is tau wall so just put y is equal to 0 so we have tau wall equal to minus dp by dx into t by 2 velocity at any distance y is given by u equals to 1 by twice mu minus dp by dx into t y minus y square depending upon the boundary condition you have to solve this equation assume that both plates are fixed in that case the u max by u average is always equals to 3 by 2 whereas for circular pipes this ratio is 2 the head loss due to friction for parallel plates is 12 times u bar into mu l by rho g t square in a flow through pipe we have hf equal to the head loss due to friction is fl v square by twice gd and in terms of discharge is fl q square by 12 d to the power 5 f is called as darcy wishbash friction factor and this factor is 4 times the coefficient of friction we have a lot of minor losses exit loss sudden expansion loss sudden contraction entry loss all these losses are expressed in terms of v square by 2g here cc is called as coefficient of contraction exit loss is hl equal to v square by 2g sudden expansion is v1 minus v2 square upon 2g Sudden contraction is 1 by cc minus 1 of whole square by 2v square by 2g. cc is called as coefficient of contraction. Hydraulic grade line is p by rho g plus z. Total energy line is the sum of all energy that is a p by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z. Then we have normally two types of problem. In the case of pipes, the pipe in series and the pipes in parallel. So in the pipe in series we have three pipes in series so through all these pipes your discharge remain constant that is q1 is same as q2 is same as q3 is same as q so discharge remains same 
and head loss is to be added. So summation of HL is same as total head loss. Assuming the friction factor is same, we can reduce this equation to L by d to the power 5 is same as summation of Li di to the power 5. And when the pipes in parallel, we have to add the discharge. This Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Whereas head losses in all the pipes are same. HL1 equal to HL2. And assuming same friction factor for all pipes, we have d to the power 5 divided by L under root is same as summation of under root of di to the power 5 by L. For maximum transmission, we have a reservoir here and we have a pin stock. The condition for maximum transmission is HF equal to H by 3 and maximum power is transmitted is 2 by 3rd of the available head since efficiency equals to 66%.